this item is being sold by a Russian billionaire who bought it for $127 million four years ago. Why is he selling? Well, I think it's a good time to be selling, actually, and I think he's probably taking advantage of, of, of the current market situation. A lot of people are arguing that because this picture's been retouched so many times, there's precious little Leonardo in it. Mm. Is that a justifiable complaint? No, I don't think it is. I mean, this picture is a 500-year-old picture. And, you know, you, in these sorts of situations with, with, with rare pictures like this on panel, uh, they get damaged over the years and, and, and there are retouches. That's quite normal. I mean, right. the National Gallery in London has many, many paintings that have been retouched. This has been done very sympathetically. And there are still very good surviving areas. I think, you know, the, the, the hand raised in benediction, uh, the right, Christ's right mm. hand is, is, is beautifully preserved. The, the celestial globe made of rock crystal that Leonardo has very carefully painted, even with all the little inclusions, these sort of damages in the, in the rock crystal, uh, are, are beautifully preserved. So, you know, the, it, it, is, it is a Leonardo. Yes, it, is, it has, has suffered over the years. Some of the glazes uh, get sort of cleaned off over, over, over years of re-cleaning. And Leonardo had an unusual technique. I mean, he, he would use incredibly you know, intensive, uh, small, thin layers of, of, of pigment that would be layered upon layer. It took years to produce these paintings. Right. So they do get damaged uh, when they're not treated you know, correctly. Oh, now, the interesting thing is this is being sold in a sale of contemporary art. Why is that? Well, it's a good question, and it's, it's you know, it does has raised a few eyebrows. I think auction houses, <clears throat> and Chris's in particular, have, have often blurred the categories when they, when they sell things. Never quite as extreme as this, a Renaissance master being sold in a contemporary sale. But I think it's, a, it's an acknowledgement, really, that the, the really big sales these days take place in post-war contemporary and modern paintings. And with this price tag on it, you know, you've re you're really looking for the, the big, big buyers. You are. And, and who's going to buy it then? I mean, it's not going to be a museum, is it? Well, a museum, there are museums interested in, in, in buying this. And, of course, there are a lot of very, very wealthy people who, you know, create their own museums. So this will be a fantastic piece for a museum. Um, we're looking at a, a very small number of people. Someone with very, very deep pockets is going to buy this. Um, it may be an Asian buyer. Um, Asian buyers have been very active recently in the, in the marketplace, buying Asian art, but also Western paintings as well. It could be a South American buyer. And I think Christie's have probably been, you know, showing it around in California, hoping that one of the big tech giants might buy it. I mean, let's, not, let's remember, remember, actually, that, that, that Leonardo's Codex was once bought by Bill Gates. So I think that's another area of interest.